The Taylor Swift situation is an absolute train wreck. This morning in the 6 o'clock hour, the phones exploded with just livid, ticked-off, angry people. And among the livid, angry, ticked-off people that contacted me yesterday, first of all, I got a dozen-plus texts from people. Hey, MJ. Uh, hey, Todd. Hey, did, 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 uh, hey uh, do you have any connections for Taylor Swift? We couldn't get them. We were online. We did this. Did, did. I had so many people asking. And, you know, we don't. I don't have any connections. I, You know, I... You know, Who do it, you know? I, Nobody. Well, listen, I, you know, we, we give away concert tickets, but we don't have a pile of Taylor Swift tickets uh, at this point, or I don't know if we ever will. One of the people that texted me, and man, I could just feel the seething through the text. <laughs> on my, You can hear him cackling and giggling in the background. And I teased this all morning long. I said, we've got a high-profile celebrity Phone call coming up this morning from somebody who's really ticked off that got all wedged up and crammed into this Taylor Swift, not a ticket master situation, a ticket disaster situation. Ladies Embroiled and gentlemen, in it. ladies, it was that Embroiled in it. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, from ABC Action News, Chief Meteorologist mm. Dennis Phillips. <laughs> Jay. How you doing? Oh, uh, listen, I'm glad we're not talking about hurricanes and tropical yeah. storms, but we're talking about another storm, and this is the Category 5 cluster frig that you were dealing with with the Taylor Swift deal, right? Yeah. You know what? I really miss the days when I could line up at Kmart or JCPenney's and just know that I'm going to get tickets to something. Because honestly, I mean, think about that. If you really wanted some tickets to a concert, you could go out there two days in advance and you knew you were going to get those tickets. But now, either, you don't know. I mean, I, you either get a pre-sale code or you don't. You either have a Capital One credit card or you don't. And even if you do, like I said to you when I was texting you yesterday, like, this is nuts. Because I'm like you. I have a pretty large social media following. And people were on social media just going crazy because they were Swifties and they really, really wanted to go to the show. And the fact that there's three shows and they still couldn't get tickets and the general admission sale hasn't even started yet, right? That's tomorrow. All right. So wow. how long did you invest in this? You know, I, I was thinking about that because remember the week of the Super Bowl, they always come out with stories and say, oh, you know, if you were at work, you know, the average employee wasted eight and a half hours on Super Bowl pools and, and, and whatnot. And, and I will tell you, we were on the computer, I'd say, probably about five and a half hours. Oh, my God. And, and, wow. and there were people in the newsroom who shall remain nameless who literally were in the, uh, in the queue, and then they got kicked out, and I heard them scream in agony. Oh, my God. <laughs> so this is in the ABC Action News newsroom, and you've got coworkers in the, the news department that are in the queue. Uh, let me let me understand this, Dennis. We had callers this morning. We talked about this first thing. The phone's ignited. There are so many angry people over this whole Taylor Swift debacle. Three shows in April. What is it? Thursday, Friday, Saturday at Ray J. Now, with the field configured for seats and the stage, and I think they're even selling tickets behind the stage, they must be putting, what, 75,000 people into the stadium? I mean, yeah, they're, I mean, you, they're you, jamming you figure, it. figure, though, it's all of Florida. It's the only Florida show. Oh, I know. So, I mean, you have people from Miami. You have people all over coming in. Yeah, so, I mean, right, if that's 70, 75,000, I mean, that's 225,000. I don't know. But, but again, it's just, you know, you can multitask, obviously, and you have a window open or a tab open or whatever, and, and – and as you're, but there are a lot of Taylor Swift fans. I mean, I work with a, a lot of women who are in their twenties and thirties, and and they are Swifties, and and they were, <laughs> and they weren't really mad as much as they were just devastated. It was, it was. Yeah, Ticketmaster is now Ticket Disaster, and yeah. especially at least with this Taylor Swift deal. Now, from what I understand, you had to get into a waiting room first before you could even hope. And that people were waiting in the waiting room for hours before they let you be on the velvet online rope. Yeah, and a lot of time you couldn't even you couldn't even get into the waiting room because you'd get an error code, and you know you you would try to. And like we have 
two Ticketmaster's accounts. My, I have one and my wife has one. And, and so we were, you know, we were trying to get in and you, you try to get in maybe a quarter of before they go on sale. This was the cap one sale. I didn't get a presale code because, you know, you, I, I'm sure you're aware, you know, that you could, you could apply for presale codes as a gazillion people did. And some got them and most didn't. I didn't get one. So I had to wait until uh, the Capital One card won. And yeah, you're in the, you're in the waiting room. And, and sometimes while just sitting there on, you know, w- waiting to, for the queue to pop up, it would just crash on you and you'd have to go in again. I mean, and, and then once you're in the queue, immediately it starts out with over 2000 plus people, you know, and then eventually, and what I was hearing, and this is what was here, I was hearing from a lot of folks on social media saying they would get to the queue, they would get to the 2000, they would get, you know, they waited several hours, they would go to try to buy the tickets, they'd select the tickets. And then it would crash, and it would put them right back at two thousand again. God! So you sent me a screenshot. You took a picture, and you texted this to me, Dennis, yesterday, and it said you are now in the queue, two thousand plus people ahead of you. Yeah, and I, and we waited and waited and waited for hours, and then it got down finally where it was time for us to select tickets. And when we got to the select tickets parts, they were all gone. Well, Dennis, how long have you been a Swifty? <laughs> I'm. I will be honest. My eight year old daughter yeah. wants to yeah. go. She she is. In fact, um, she has done Taylor Swift karaoke often. <laughs> so so. Um, and now she's devastated. Hold on a sec, Dennis. I got to go to the uh, the map on the wall here. All right, folks. Uh, the percentage of the chance that Dennis Phillips is going to get Taylor Swift tickets, zero uh, percent oh, chance. No. <laughs> uh, uh, let's let's go to the ten day forecast, okay? Hey, you know what? I'm going to try again tomorrow. I mean, you know what? Hey, I, I, what, what I was saying before. I, I mean, I'm not even joking. It seems to me like there could be a way that they could have a dual sale. Like, uh, you know, we because remember back in the day, you guys know this. You used to stand in line outside. Yeah. I mean, if you wanted to go to a concert and you really wanted to go, you could. it's like Black Friday sales. You could sit out there for two days. If you really wanted front row or you really wanted to go, you'd do it. And it seems to me, why can't they do it both ways? Why can't they have the online sales? Because we all know a lot of those tickets go to bots and go to brokers. Yep. So, so why don't they have a, a deal where you can do one or the other? You can either – Go online, or you could at 10 a.m. on whatever day, you know, buy them in person and and allocate a certain number of those for in person. Because at least those people, if they really, really, really wanted to go to a concert, could 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 do it. I mean, to me, it's one of the few times in the history of the world that you could go back in time and yeah. go more old school, and it might be a, a more effective way of doing something. I'll tell you what, on a lot of cell phone calls that we get, the old analog uh, phones at home are better than the cell phones, and even the old analog f- cell phones before we went digital sound better on the air. Uh, anyway, hey, let me give out the number here, because, uh, folks, I want to hear your pain. I want to hear what happened. <laughs> if you, Folks, if you got messed up in the whole Ticketmaster ticket disaster with Taylor Swift, I want to hear your story. Tell us what happened. 800-990-1047. Let's go to phones. Andrew, screen away, please. Tell us your Taylor Swift ticket story and your attempt to get the tickets. 800 let us feel your frustration. Let us try to soothe you, or maybe this is some therapeutic. I'll be Dr. Melfi. What do you think? Uh, what do you think, Tony? I think you uh, help out a lot of people here, Dr. Melfi. By the way, I am kind of attracted to you. All right, so Can we have sex on your desk? Uh, stop it. We are stop. Right. 800 990 1047 is how you get in if you want to talk about the Taylor Swift mess. Hey, Dennis, uh, we're on the phone with Dennis Phillips, Chief Meteorologist, ABC Action News. And, Dennis, I felt your anger and frustration in the text that you sent me yesterday. I mean, I think, did you crack the screen by any chance while you were texting this to me? Uh, You're not not embellishing at all. (laughs) (laughs) Not at all. No, I mean, like I said, we were, look, it's first world problems. I'm the first to admit it. I mean, we, you know, we, we, um, we tried like everybody else and we didn't get them. And we might, you know, we might tomorrow, we might tomorrow for the general admission sale. I think they're around 10 o'clock in the morning. So, but, but I, I would suggest to people, um, the folks who are, who are trying to get it. I mean, I've been Googling it. I've been actually doing research on the best way to try to get through these queues and, 
and and um, it, it's just a crapshoot. Dennis, is. Dennis, do you know who Jonathan Scrametti is? I do not. Right, listen, I, I didn't expect you would. It's not a trick question. It's not like, are oh, you dummy? You don't know who Jonathan Scrametti is. Jonathan Scrametti is the attorney general for Tennessee, and they're launching a full-blown investigation of Ticketmaster and Taylor Swift and this whole deal. Yeah, I mean, I read I read the thing about Tennessee. I didn't know his name. Yeah, I mean, it, it's just not a good system. I mean, I was telling I was telling my kids yesterday. You know, I like to say, oh, maybe you want to be a doctor, maybe you want to be a lawyer. No, maybe you just want to solve the Ticketmaster debacle, and the world would be your oyster. You'll have billions. Because, I mean, it, it's something that there's obviously a huge, obviously huge demand. I mean, the Springsteen concert was kind of the same thing. You know, it was – now, that was my first experience with dynamic pricing, and I, I got burned. Um, you know, you, you, you try to get in right I, – and I did get a pre-sale code because Springsteen concert, is, as you guys know, it's a world tour. It opens in Tampa on February 1st, like his very first concert for that tour. So, I mean, it's going to be a, a huge draw. So I, I was lucky enough to get pre-sale ticket or pre-sale code, and I went in, and, you know, I saw what the prices were, you know, and you're just frantically trying to check out. You know, if you get any tickets, you're just like, all right, all right I'm, I'm trying to get the, the yeah, mid-range. And you want to, like, please go through, please go through, please yeah. go through. So that's exactly what I did. So I'm like, okay, go submit, 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 submit. And before I realized it, the price that was supposed to be, like, $200 a ticket was $700 what? a ticket. Oh, my God. Yeah, because they it was the whole dynamic pricing. And, you know, I'm just frantic to just hit, check out, check out, check out. <laughs> That's like, hosed in the USA. I was yeah. hosed in the USA. We need so a ticket I looked at what, union. the final cost. I'm like, what? Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, and that, that's a big thing, too. And I, I don't know if the, I'd never made it to that part. So I don't know if Taylor Swift, if it was dynamic pricing or not yeah. with Ticketmaster. Now, this is the Eras Tour and right. Era, E-R-A-S, Eras Tour. And again, I'm sure StubHub and these ticket resellers have ended up with just a ton of these tickets. They just seem to have ways to just just grab tons of inventory and yeah. they're using computer programs and bots and uh, who the heck knows. Hey, Dennis, I wish you the best. Good luck with the general admission sale, I guess for Taylor Swift tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. And good luck to everybody else. I mean, if, I mean, I know I'm telling you, I'm, I don't disagree with you. When I was reading the comments on my Facebook page, there were people in agony. I'm, I, you know, that, that's not me. I mean, I, my daughter really wants to go, and I'm hoping I can bring her, but she'll get over it if, if we don't get to go. But there were some people out there, some true-blown, full-blown Swifties, who were, who were just devastated. They were. I'm with you. So, All right, Can you look at Doppler radar for me? And it's still a big disaster, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Hey, Dennis Phillips, ABC Action News Chief Meteorologist. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have him on with a weather disaster, right? No. Uh, I'm sorry. For, for, I should say. For, for, fortunately. Yeah. Hold on. I screwed up my joke. I was going to say, fortunately, we don't have you on with a weather disaster. Unfortunately, it's uh, a, a ticket disaster. Fortunately, today yeah. is going to be like the nicest yeah. day we've had in forever. Uh, it's 66 Taylor, degrees. Right? Taylor Swift is predicting snow on the beach. It would be right. a beautiful That's one thing. of her songs. All right. All right. Dennis <laughs> Phillips. The 50s will know. Hey, good luck, Dennis. See you guys. All right, bye-bye. <laughs> Get him in, Ross. Hey, uh, the phones are loaded. Every line is jammed with pissed-off Taylor Swift people. Okay. Every Every line. We're going to go to phones here in a second. And my son Julian just texted me. I, I got to see what he texted me. Is he a Swifty, too? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, here we go. Julian, my son, a bunch of us at school tried getting tickets for her show at Gillette Stadium, which is up in Fos- uh, Foxborough, Massachusetts. Right. That's where... Uh, the Patriots play. Right, hold, let me see if I can get Julian on the phone. Hold on, man. He's going to resell him, probably. Well, <sighs> while you're calling Julian, I'd like to make an observation. Please. Go Boy, ahead. this yeah. this yeah. blossoming romance between you and bromance, I should say, between you and Dennis. I mean, you guys are tight. Yeah. Now. How does Paul feel about this? Yeah. Jeez, Hello. bosom buddies. I, I spoke to Paul Delgado last night. As a matter of fact, Paul and I are great friends, and uh-huh. and we've made a new friendship with Dennis Phillips. All right. They're, they're, hey, Dennis and Paul are friends. So uh, defensive. Yeah, uh, Seriously. <laughs> Paul, really Paul, of course, Paul Delegato from Fox 13 mm-hmm. and Dennis Phillips from Channel 28. <laughs> uh, hey, Julian. Yeah, what's up? Were any of your uh, friends at school, because uh, Julian goes to boarding school. This is my son, Julian. He's a senior in high school. Goes to boarding school up in Connecticut. 
were any of your friends at school successful in getting tickets for uh, Massachusetts for the Taylor Swift show? Uh, <clears throat> as far as I know, no. They all lucked out. I think they all kind of got kicked out of the queue. Oh, 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 yeah. So they didn't luck out. They all got kicked out. Yeah, like kicked out. Like it, it, the like the website crashed. At the Ticketmaster website. It's everywhere. It what is? It's everywhere. So because the- we, we were gonna try and go, like, because our graduation is like somewhere up near that time. It's like three weeks before or whatever, and we were gonna try and go, and it. And we were all going to like get tickets and go, and it just it, we couldn't get them. Uh, so it, you guys were in the queue and it crashed, right? Yeah. Yeah, we heard from somebody earlier in the 6 o'clock hour. Somebody, they got through or they had a pre They tried to put their, their code in, and then it said your code is not accepted. It's not valid. Uh, what a mess. Uh, Julian, I, are you a Swifty? I mean, I, I like I like the older Taylor Swift, So and she's singing, you know, a bunch of her older songs there. So. All right. Uh, hey, buddy. Julian, good job pardoning the turkey. I saw the video. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. you! I didn't even yeah. see that. You saw it? Yeah, that was really? good. He did a very good job. Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, Julian uh, is coming home t- for Thanksgiving. Julian's coming home tomorrow night. Oh, yeah, yeah tomorrow night. Yeah. So, Julian, I'm, I'll pick you up at the airport tomorrow night. All right. I, I better be driving home. All right. That's fine. Oh, boy. All right. All right. Bye-bye, Julian. All right. Bye. Uh, my son, Julian. Also trying to get Taylor Swift tickets with all the kids at his boarding school. A nobody popular issue. Nobody got through. It crashed. All right, let's go to phones. Every line is ringing like I'm giving away the tablet now. Uh, every line is on hold here. Jennifer is in Riverview. Tell us about your Taylor Swift debacle. Well, uh, it said beforehand, get to the uh, waiting room 30 minutes ahead of time. Yep which I did on the laptop because it also said it's better if you use a desktop or a laptop. Instead of your phone. phone. Yeah, yeah. So I did that, then got kicked out, got the air, could not get back in on the laptop. So I grabbed my phone, got in the queue, waited five hours, and it stopped moving at one point for almost an hour and a half. All right, this is ridiculous. To wait in a queue for five hours online when things should be instant? I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, Taylor Swift is not worth that mess. Well, not to me, but to my son who told me seven years ago, I'm adding Taylor Swift concert to my bucket list. And I thought, you know, this kid never asked for anything. He's always- Oh, I thought you were going to say that your son said, Mom, get me Taylor Swift tickets or I'm going to kill you. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Your bucket no. list, Mom. He's a good kid. He never asked for anything. I'll tell you what. Oh, it, no. With this mess... This is on my bucket list, but replace the B with an F. You know, MJ, okay? yeah. Jennifer brings up a good yeah. point. Working and at a radio I've, station, we're going to hear so many sob stories for tickets. Oh, my yeah. God. He's such a good and kid. He never like, asked for anything, blah, blah, blah. He lost his pancreas in a, in a, I mean, in a horrific energy well, drink. Yeah. I really wanted to do it for him, so I made myself a promise if we were ever in the position to do oh, it that I'd so do it. I'm so sorry. And I was just so tore up, kept waiting, Ugh. and finally I got in. Oh. But the cheapest seats left were like $150 each, way up in the nosebleed section. But I got them. Oh, you I got, got them. two of them. All right. I did. But none of his friends from Tampa Catholic were able to get in. Holy moly. Go Crusaders. And, yeah, Jennifer, thank you. Uh, thank you for the call, Jennifer, and thanks for phoning in. MJ, should thank we tell you. the listeners thanks. what we have? Go 20. Ahead. Pairs of Taylor Swift tickets. We got them. <laughs> no, we no, we don't. Don't say that. <laughs> Just kidding. People will kill you. <laughs> People will <laughs> kill you on the way to your car. <laughs> <this> fraud- <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going like, to will- murder you. They will firebomb your house. <laughs> right. We do not have 20 <laughs> pairs of Taylor Swift See, tickets. Roxanne thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Would those be hotter than these tablets? Oh, my. You think? I don't know. Uh, Lori's in Apollo Beach. Lori, Taylor Swift ticket disaster. Tell us. Lori, go ahead. Yeah, my daughter, she is a Swifty. She's a 31-year-old CPA, and she had a pre-sale code, so she was verified. And she got in her queue at, like, 930 in the waiting room. And, again, it was the 2,000-plus, 2,000-plus. It just kept going on and on and on. It took her six hours. Six hours. But she actually got two sets of tickets. Uh, but she got to the Atlanta shows because she's up in the Carolinas. Oh, my God. Six but, hours. I'm. It's This is hey, ridiculous. Stupid money, too. Well, hold on. What is stupid money? How much did she pay? 
she paid twelve hundred dollars for two tickets for Friday night show in the lower bowl section. Are you and kidding? Then- and that's wait a minute, that's Ticketmaster face value? Wow. Yes. And then Sunday show she got floor seats, two tickets. Eighteen hundred. Uh, you know what? Taylor Swift is just gouging people. Taylor Swift and Ticket Man, they're just gouging folks. I mean, really? I love her. And she makes good money, and she's followed her all her life, and she can afford it. But my goodness, I was like, wow. No, that's yeah. ridiculous. Hey, thanks for the call, Lori. Let's grab Danielle in Riverview. Danielle, MJ Morning Show, welcome. Hey, good morning. All right, tell us about your Taylor Swift ticket debacle. Yeah, so also pre-sale verified and sat in the waiting room for, I don't know, for forever, 2,000 plus people, um, got kicked out, had to go back, start over, didn't get any tickets. Um, and then I also tried the Capital One sale, same thing. Um, I kept. What's in your wallet? Not Taylor Swift tickets. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I tried to get. Um, Did you get anything, Danielle, or you left empty-handed? Oh, empty-handed for sure. On the Capital One pre-sale, I was able to get in and select tickets, but every time I would get them into my cart, it would kick me back to the to the queue. Uh, Daniel, so, I'm I'm sorry to hear it. Uh, and Daniel, you're a Swifty? No, my daughter's 16 year old. Yeah, I got um, it. This is all for her. Oh, geez, and you let her down. She hates you now. <laughs> I know, right? And it was her birthday, her 16th oh, birthday. Oh my like, God. <laughs> Gosh, mom, you can't make anything happen. Oh, gee, I'm sorry, Daniel. All right, Daniel, thanks thanks for listening. No worries. Uh, have a good one. All right, Victor's in Brandon. Victor, MJ Morning Show. Hi. How you doing today? Uh, we're fine. I, the Swifties, though, they're about to, you know, uh, throw themselves in front of a bus. Go ahead. In front of Taylor Swift's tour bus. All right, go <laughs> ahead, Victor. What I was saying is, like, for the Iron Maiden show two weeks ago, what they do is two weeks before the show, they they open up more tickets just to screw over all the scalpers. They wanted eight hundred, six hundred dollars for floor tickets. You wait two weeks before the show, they'll release three, four, four thousand more tickets. Wow, yeah, and you get them for one hundred forty bucks. It there you go. Because they actually care about their fans. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> you know what, it does, yeah. Victor, good call. And you know what. Um, I don't know that Taylor Swift is taking a page from what Iron Maiden is saying. <laughs> Iron Maiden. It just sounds like utter, it sounds like greed, utter, total, complete greed meets total incompetence. Well, she's got to do her private plane trips. Yeah, whatever. All right. Remember uh, that. Two more calls. I got to take a break. And we got the tablet. Folks, we're giving away. I hope people aren't in the queue in the waiting room for the MJ Morning Show tablet and get kicked out. <laughs> uh, hang on. Two more calls here. Then we got to take a quick break. And then the final segment's coming up. And then we're giving away our final tablet of the day. Our four tablet is coming up. Mia is in Land O Lakes. Hello, Mia. Hi. Hey, Mia. What's the story with you and Taylor Swift? So, me and my best friend, Alex, we've been best friends our whole life since she was in her mom's belly. I'm a year older than her. And How old are you, Mia? I am 17, and she is 16. Okay, go ahead. And we were we couldn't get the pre-sale code. She's on tour right now for her brother's music, so she was trying to do the tickets on her computer. And while she's on her tour bus, while she's in her little van, and me and her on the phone the whole time, um, she's trying to get multiple dates because we were trying to take our moms to the concert, too. And then we tried to get floor seats. She had two Two sets of four tickets in her cart for the Thursday show. One of them got stolen out of her cart. Then she got four seats for the Saturday show for both of us. And the website completely crashed. She got through the queue and everything, picked the floor seats for like $700, clicked, tried to click next, and it would not let her click next, and then it kicked her out. Oh, my God. This is just story after story. Did anyone get tickets? Who? Where the hell are the people? I guess we had one caller that got tickets up in the nosebleeds. Hey, Mia, thanks for listening. We appreciate it. Oh, Chris, thank you so much. Hey, do me a favor. So tell all your friends that the MJ Morning Show is the baddest thing going on, all right? No, the goodest. The best, oh, best thing. I know. The uh, goodest. Now, I love our demographics. Here's a 17-year-old, uh, fabulous young woman. You know, we, we it's 17 plus. I mean, we get t- teenagers, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. Uh, we've got, uh, I think we've got the widest spread of listeners uh, for a morning show in the Tampa Bay area. I right, one more call, then i got to break. I'm running a few minutes late here. Let me grab, uh, Fessy, you took my call screener off. Can oh, you, uh, yeah, I'm trying to solve another problem. Uh, right here. Manuel is in Tampa. Hey, Manuel. 
How are you guys doing? Uh, doing fine. All right, Manuel, last call on this today. Taylor Swift debacle. What happened with you? Well, with me, uh, I, I, I got the code. I was on there on Tuesday uh, at 930. Now, how did you get the code? Well, like two weeks ago, I had to go into Ticketmaster and enter my email. And and my, my daughter was on me, hey, can you do this with me? And I, I'll, I'll put in my email, and my wife put in her email. So we all put in our emails. I, I ended up getting two codes. And uh, and I was set up to go ahead and, and buy them on Tuesday. And then I waited. Uh, let's see. It, it really wasn't very long, like everybody's saying. Uh, I, I know it came to a point that... How long were you in the waiting room? In the waiting room, uh, b- before uh, Ticketmaster went down, I, I was there like about two hours. Two okay, days. and then were you able to put the tickets in your basket, in your cart, and check out? I was, but whenever I went to check out, my problem was that my bank was not uh, allowing me to purchase that much. They sent me an email and sent me a text that I was tr- that somebody was trying to do a fraudulent... Uh, oh, all right. Did you get around that? Did you finally get tickets? With one minute left, I was able to buy floor tickets next to the stage. Whoa! With one minute left, you got floor seats right near the stage? Sniped yes, it. I did. At Ray J, right? And, uh, and I got them for 250 bucks. Oh, my God. And then Thursday, Friday, or Saturday show? It's for the Friday show. Wow. All right. Hey, Manuel, thanks for listening, buddy. No problem. Unbelievable. MJ, new parody song. Don't got two tickets to Taylor Swift. <laughs> I, I have it for me tomorrow. What? I, I can't sing. Have it for me tomorrow. 